All you gotta do is simply duck walk your U-turns. U-turns. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing U-turns, but I'm gonna show you guys a technique on how I actually do U-turns that I don't think nobody else has really shown. So you know what? Let's get into it because I think this is gonna really, 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 really help you guys. Let's rock and roll, baby. If you have a sport bike or if you have a naked bike, Harley Davidson, uh, a 650 MT-07, most effective ways I personally found to be effective in, do in doing U-turns. Normally what I do is when I'm about to hit the U-turn, the first thing I do here is I look to where, where I'm going. As I'm turning, you'll see this is how, how far I can turn my wheel. And it's only 45 degrees. So I'm looking where I'm going. But there's a problem. There's a problem with this. Especially that I'm a tall rider. The problem is that my hand and arm is literally, it's going to cramp up if I stay, stay in this position. If I stay in this position, even though I'm looking this way, everything is getting cramped and it feels kind of weird. So basically what I've learned to do is when I'm about to hit that U-turn, I look where I'm going. When I turn the wheel, my shoulder, and this is the most important part, my shoulder turns with the right bar. Because now that I'm turning, my head automatically starts to align with the wheel in the direction that, that it wants to go. Does that make any sense? And this arm, it's not cramped up like this anymore. It's actually back. So what happens as I'm turning my shoulder, this shoulder is actually going back, which can stay on the bar pretty much straight. I have control. This hand is literally just pushing in towards, you know, towards the U-turn. So your U-turns shouldn't be that fast. You should be going into U-turns about like eight, 10 miles an hour. If you're going into a U-turn like 15, 20, 25 miles an hour, you're going to have a bad day on the other side. You know, probably running off the road <laughs> or running into the sidewalk or something like that. So what you need to do is take your shoulder, move into it, move into your U-turn. All right, let's, uh, let's demonstrate. We're in neutral. <clears throat> I'm going to start the bike. On the first gear, and I'm gonna start from behind, behind over that way. All right, so we're gonna go do a U turn. I'm gonna make this real easy and simple. All right, here we go. Head, shoulder. Look how easy that was. A little bit of clutch. Still doing it. Head, shoulder. Look how easy that was. All right. Head, shoulder. All right. You see that I'm adding a little bit of clutch. Feather in the clutch. This is with no clutch. Head, shoulder. Head, shoulder. No clutch. Head, shoulder. No clutch. All right, so as you saw there, <clears throat> I actually did a couple of U-turns where I feathered the clutch just a little bit, just to make the turn a little bit tighter. And as you can see, when I push my shoulder forward, when I push that shoulder forward, it automatically pushed me in the direction that I want to go. Whereas if I was back here and then I just turn the handlebars back here, it's not going to work. It's, it's actually going to have me going wider. Something else that you can actually do too as well. You want to learn the turn radius of your motorcycle you want to learn the turn radius and how far your wheel can go so you want to wheel lock this is going to help you too as, as well wheel lock your wheel notice what your body position is you notice if you're upright 
you can you can hardly reach the bar right here. So you you have no control of what's going on. And this arm right here, this bar is so close to the tank that you just you know you 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 scorched up. You know you scorched up here. You move back, you have control of this bar, but you don't have control of this bar. Your throttle is what you you know which what, what you need to make sure you know of whether you're slowing down or you know speed and speeding up. Also your clutch hand too as well. You don't want to feel all cramped up, you know, using your clutch. So no matter what bike you on, when you're doing your turn, move up, move up to the bar, move up to the bar. This arm doesn't have to be straight. This arm should be kind of almost straight, almost. But this arm is what's pushing you to do that U-turn. Now, you're not going so fast at a speed where you have to counter steer in order to lean, you know, to lean the bike. Now, can you counter steer to um, make a turn? Yes, you can, but that's for a whole other video. So at slow speeds, if you're doing like 10 miles an hour, you know, you got to do that U-turn. Use this technique. Turn your head, move into your bike, push with your shoulders. This shoulder right here should be turning. Turn with you. Turn with it. I said turn with it. Ha! Turn with it. I said turn with it, okay? Head, shoulder, turn. And you'll notice your body's going to counter automatically when it does that. So you're not going to drop the bike. You're going to feel more weight over here and it's going to give you more confidence that you're not going to drop your bike. One other technique that's going to help you a lot. And this is how I first started doing U-turns, believe it or not. This is what I was doing when I first started doing U-turns. I simply start the bike, first gear, bike on. One of the things that I was doing... <laughs> It's literally up in my one of my other videos in my past videos. Uh, um, I'll link it up here. All you got to do is simply duck walk your U turns, but do it slow and with with the clutch. So basically, you want to test your wheel lock, how far your wheel can go, and what's your comfortability level, you know, with that. So basically, turn <laughs> head, shoulder, no throttle. Remember how I showed you in one of the videos, no throttle, little throttle, that web of your hand, that web of your hand goes in here, thumb lock, you're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. You're going to release the clutch slowly, let the bike move on its own, duck walk, duck walk, duck walk, duck walk, duck walk. Now you notice my head, shoulder is still in that way. And look at how tight that U-turn is. So that's basically how tight you can actually do a U-turn for, for this particular model of a bike. And with a naked bike or a bike with wider handles, you can actually make it tighter than this, believe it or not. So I'm just duck walking. I'm duck walking. I'm going to release the clutch a little bit more. So let it go a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Feet up. Boom. And that's all you got to do. Let this uh, truck go by. I saw the truck coming, so... I kind of gave up on it. Let's let the truck go by. All right, sorry about that. Truck was coming by. I felt them coming by. So we're going to do that again. All right, so lock your wheel. Head. My shoulder is not back here. My shoulder is here. All right, getting camera view. Head, arm is pretty much straight. I moved in shoulder. Let's duck walk it. Duck walk it, duck walk it, clutch is just out enough, I'm feathering the clutch, the clutch is just out enough where I'm getting some speed, I'm not giving it no throttle, this is all, this is all clutch, and just duck walk your U-turn, but you notice my body position, head, shoulder, I think I'm out of camera view, but but you guys get it. Head, shoulder, little clutch, clutch, head, shoulder. Look where you want to go, clutch. At the speed, you got to give it some clutch. It's gonna go a little bit wider, a little bit of rear brake. Boom. So you got to do. That's all you got to do. And just keep practicing that. Keep practicing that. Notice the shoulder. Head, shoulder. Head, shoulder. Head, shoulder. Head, shoulder. 
head, shoulder. All right, you guys got that? All right. Now, believe it or not, going to the right, <laughs> that's a whole other video because that one is a little bit more trickier. But I got a trick for you guys uh, for that video too as well. So, listen, guys, it's really beautiful out here, out here in uh, Southwest uh, Florida right now. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully, this quick little lesson will help you be a, you know, uh, a better uh, rider and um, getting used to doing U-turns. But all you got to do is, you know, you just got to, you know, you got to go outside and you got to practice, you know. So practicing is is the key. Um, make sure you practice your U-turns. You're going to be fine. You're not going to drop your bike. Everything is up here. You know, just concentrate. Remember, you know. You turn your shoulder and head, you know, turn that head, lean into it with that shoulder. As you're leaning with that shoulder, you're going to counterbalance automatically. And you're looking where you're going. You're looking where you're going. So as you're going round and round and round, your eyes is following where it is that you want to, where it is that you want to go. All right. So hopefully this video helped you. Thank you very much for tuning in uh, to the Keep Living channel. I am the KL Rider, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. We'll live through it all.